So this is going to be a short project vlog on something that I've been recently working on. That being my four foot by eight foot 164 scale display table. And this here is a table that I've had uh, quite a few years now. And it's got several setups on it. Uh, the main focus being the farm dealership. Then there's also a repair shop and also an equipment yard behind that. Then also my big tow company. And then at the front also a rail line. But as some of you may know, I'm planning to attend a show this coming weekend. And originally I was going to take my 4 foot by 5 foot display, which has the heavy rescue setup on it. However, I had that to the show last year, and it was also at the show back in 2019. Uh, the shows for 2020 and 2021 were canceled for reasons I personally don't give a damn about. But considering I had that table to the last two shows that did happen, I decided to do something different, which is why I decided on this 4 foot by 8 foot table. Now, I've had this there a couple times as well. I think it's been out uh, two or three times, actually. And it's not really changed in the time that I've had it, so I did want to make a few uh, slight changes to it to make it a little more, well, basically just make it look a little different compared to the other times I've had it at the show. Whether people will remember this table or not, I don't know. But uh, just a few small projects I'm working on here, and I'll go ahead and show you. So the main project I've had with this table is upgrading the rail line to something better and even when I first built this table I was not happy with how the rail line looked and part of that can be contributed to the fact that when I built the table I used this roofing felt. Now this is really nice if you're wanting to make roads or parking lots but there's been times where this will actually warp and swell and it's not always when it's wet it's sometimes even just the temperature I guess will do that and the problem I was having was this was underneath the tracks and when I ballasted them even from the beginning I was having issues with the roofing felt warping and that would cause the ballast to crack and break apart and it got to the point where there was just so much of it missing I was not happy with that Another thing I didn't like was when I first built this, I originally had guardrail running between the road and the rail line, which I didn't like the look of that, and I eventually made some uh, barriers to put uh, like a curb in, I guess, but again, still wasn't happy with that either. And basically when I went to work on this table this time, I decided that the rail line, I had to rip everything up and start over. And what I did was where the curb was, I just cut right along that and removed everything, basically right down to the bare table. And I decided at this point that I wanted to raise the rail line up a little bit. And to do that, I used half inch foam, which uh, this got it up to where I wanted it to be and basically just glued that right down to the table. Uh, another thing I did was I cut these edges here to make sort of an embankment which was another something I wanted. And I think it actually looks better to have the rail line raised up a little bit from the road. And then another thing I did was I cut in sort of like a drive right in here that'll go to a crossing, which is not really a public crossing. It's more just for uh, maintenance of way vehicles and such. But I uh, went ahead and cut that in there. And with that out of the way, I put the tracks back down. Now, the only difference with the tracks is that they are hot glued in place rather than nailed down like they were before. And this is still the same track layout that I had originally. The switches are still where they were before. Uh, basically everything's the same. And another thing I did was when I went to ballast this, I actually used, uh, well I used medium ballast again, but I used a gray blend instead of just the gray uh, ballast that I had before. And I'm glad I ordered this extra container because I ended up finishing off the one that I had before. But I just think the gray blend looks a lot nicer than just the regular gray. And this is actually fine ballast, but uh, this parking lot here, it was done with just the regular gray instead of the gray blend. And you might be able to see the difference there. But I uh, just got the ballasting done tonight. 
uh, sprayed the glue on it and everything. So I'm letting it sit for a little bit here. Uh, before I ballast it, I did put these uh, wood pieces in place for the crossing. Uh, basically, I'm going to have to go back through and I'm going to put like a, it's going to look sort of like a limestone chip is put on these. And as for these uh, gaps with the rails, I do have uh, these pieces here will go in place. Just, uh, you know, roughly like that, basically. And then you can drive a car across the tracks. It's sort of similar to the setup I did with my four foot by five foot table. But overall, I'm a lot happier with the way this is looking compared to what was here before. Something else I'd like to do if I have the time is the parking lot around my repair shop needs some work because over time it started to, well, you can see that there's a little bit of ballast missing in places and it's even cracked in some areas. It just really doesn't look great and even here it's really started to crumble apart. But what I'd like to do is go in, completely remove all the ballast I put down there and put a new layer down uh because right now i don't think this really looks presentable the way it is and i really don't want to display it like this however if i don't have the time to do that it's just gonna have to stay the way it is for now something else on the to-do list is this equipment yard here i want to replace the trees i had around this and to do that i'm going to be using some extra deciduous trees that i had here i believe i got these for uh, the last display I was working on, but there's a few in there that I can go ahead and use to put around here. And then uh, this little area here, this is actually the junkyard uh, for the equipment dealership. I may go ahead and put one more tree in here because I do have trees for this already, but I uh, definitely want to replace the ones that I have around the equipment yard here. As for the dealership, and the tow company, there's really nothing I need to do for those other than get things put together. And I do have some projects on the workbench right now that I do want to show you before I go ahead and wrap things up here. So these are three projects that I've been working on for the last two weeks now. And the first one here is a small generator trailer, which this is all scratch built and I basically used a number of materials to make this. But yeah, everything is built from scratch, the frame, the generator, and I think this is a really sharp looking piece. I uh, was hoping to put a welder on the back of this, but unfortunately I forgot to order one, and considering the show's only like, what, two days away, uh, there's no chance of one getting here in time, so I'm hoping maybe uh, one of the guys down there might have one for sale. But uh, other than that, this generator trailer is pretty much the way I want it. Another project I've been working on is this hay hauling fire truck, which was made from parts I had laying around. I actually bought one of these tankers in used condition because I wanted the tank body off of it to build a custom tanker, being this one right here. And with the cab left over, I decided to put it to use. I did make some changes, added a different frame, had to scratch build some parts, and I'm not going to go over a lot of what I did here. You can probably see some of the modifications I've done, and of course uh, quite a bit of scratch building and such. But this isn't done, I've still got some changes that I need to make, and also got some parts that I want to add, but uh, definitely been one of the more interesting projects I've been working on this week. One of the last projects I've been working on is this state truck, which I'm actually making five of these. You can see I've got the other four just up the back there uh, waiting to be assembled. But this is made by taking a PennDOT cab from a tanker, which in this case is this one right here, and then putting that cab onto one of these dump truck frames and I've had to go through and paint these beds aluminum and I've actually had to swap some parts uh, from the tanker to the dump truck uh, because just uh, particular colors or what have you that I need but yeah uh, I got these beds painted I just need to start assembling these 
these aren't uh, secured in place you can see they're still loose but I want to go ahead and get all five of these put together not sure if I'm gonna need all five but I'm gonna have some of these at the repair shop and then also in the equipment yard as well so that's pretty much all I have to report at this time like I said got some stuff going on with this table also got a few projects over on the workbench and hoping to be done with everything by Saturday afternoon so I can get everything packed up Saturday night and be at the show Sunday morning. Which, if anyone else is interested in attending the show, I'll leave some details down in the video description that you can all check out. And uh, maybe even see me there. But, I guess that's going to be it for now. Uh, you guys can feel free to drop your comments or questions down below. Also feel free to check out my other pages, links in the description, and I will see you next time.